Okay, we're going to review this book by Paul A. Craig, uh, The Killing Zone. Uh, recommended read if you're going to be a pilot, PPL pilot. It's uh, got loads of interesting stuff in it about your safety and also some crazy stuff that people do when they are pilots or when they've just got their license. So when uh, I'll be talking about this book uh, for the review. Hello, I'm Clifford from the Live, Life and Save YouTube channel. And what are you doing here? And today I'd like to talk about a book that my wife bought me as soon as I started flying. It's I called... can't believe you got one. <laughs> <laughs> is she a saint? She is a saint. Why did she buy you the book? Because you're a, a bad sinner. driver? Because she's not a sinner. Is it because you're right. a bad driver she bought you the yeah. book? Because she was rather nervous about flying. Okay, so what is the book about? The book is... Just for the camera, I, I am the one. <laughs> Should we do this properly now? Yes. Today we're going to talk about The Killing Zone, How and Why Pilots Die by Paul A. Craig. Paul A. Craig is a lifetime pilot, a flight instructor and an aviation educator. You can pass your private pilot licence in 45 hours. The average is 67 hours. Once you have your license, you're then free to go and fly on your own anywhere around the country. And this book goes through all the different scenarios and all the different things that people do to put themselves in danger and in a lot of cases, kill themselves. A lot of these uh, accidents happen by general mistakes that pilots take and a lot of these uh, mistakes are unnecessary mistakes. Things such as uh, flying VFI to IMC, fuel management, flight planning, and in some cases, people that uh, have actually been drinking and flying. And a number of the cases are where people have just passed their license and they're doing a bit of showboating and they do a low altitude, low speed stall while they're flying over someone's house, etc. On the back of the book, it has a big red warning, which says, uh, don't fly solo before you understand all the dangers of the killing zone. And they say, when you're, um, when you've done your, when you're taking your PPL, you have the 45 hours and only pretty much 10 or 12 hours you do on your own while you're taking your license. And then once you've taken your license, they say you're free to fly whenever you want. And some of these people make basic mistakes by flying into conditions they had no need to fly into and it was also way out of their experience. Uh, when I was in Spain, I went flying with someone that hadn't flown for seven months. When we came to land in Almira, they came in a bit hot bounced along the runway and luckily enough we did a go around but that could have turned into uh, an incident or an accident and that was down to just somebody not setting up their configuration for landing correctly. There's a YouTube channel called Air Safety Institute which is worth a look. They do a load of case studies on uh, accidents for general aviation. I'll put a link below Recommend this book. Uh, I've read it a couple of times, and I say anybody that's uh, doing general aviation, or if you know anybody that's doing general aviation, worth a read. I'll put the link to uh, where you can buy this on Amazon. Thank you for watching, and remember, live life and save.